Ich no teraz już wie. A tu Snax sprytnie się zabawił z rywalem, no proszę. Snax wciąż to czuje, no i zobaczmy. Cześć, witajcie moi drodzy, w dzisiejszym materiale przedstawię wam mądre akcje Virtus Pro w CSGO, a ty jeżeli pomożesz mi być pod tym filmem, tysiąc łapek w górę, to jutro wrzucę dla was kolejny film. Jak to zwykle bywa, do wygrania z tym razem m 41 s Golden Coil, faktory new warty ponad 210 zł i aby wygrać trzeba subskrybować kanał razem z dzwoneczkiem, aby dostawać wszystkie powiadomienia, zostawić łapkę w górę pod tym materiałem, polekować mój fanpage, zafollowować mnie na Instagramie oraz napisać komentarz z godziną, o której widzisz ten film. Napisz w komentarzu swojego ulubionego gracza Virtus Pro, a ja przypnę serduszko i dzisiaj w w filmu rozdam wam klucz Rocket League do Steama, także kto pierwszy ten lepszy, miłego oglądania i siema. CSGOSkins.com jest to strona, na której możecie otwierać skrzynki ze skinami do CSGO. Dodatkowo wpisując mój kod ENZO dostajecie darmową walutę na stronie. Pierwszy link w opisie, gorąco polecam. Get some more intel gathered. Uh, this is going to be the fifth player in the form of Snacks coming over. He wants to make this snake real. He wants to try, that's for sure. They've Hello. done this before. It's not the first time Virtus Pro's used that. I love it. It's so clever. And they line it up so well that as soon as you peek, you have to see all four. And, and you can't really argue with the results. It's gone very well so far. All but right. Snacks does find a headshot there once again. Picks up an AK and he will be fleeing at this point. Or will he? Maybe trying to sell something here. The thing is, a lot of Snax's kills, he leads the way with seven kills to Virtus Pro. A lot of them have been laid Very around small. when he's in situations such as this. I mean, you leave him alive long enough, eventually he's going to pick once up. Once again, sneaking through the lines of the CTs. He spotted the first one behind the box, and he might spot Zach as well. Let's keep an eye out for Snax. He might go in for the knife round. Oh, Zach will spot him, and now it is the knife out for Snax. He will get it as well onto Lula. What a great combination to open up the B bomb site. Seeing nothing on that other side. Dennis has done a great job of just being hard to get. And Neo will decide, you know what, I might just call their bluff here. And he does! Picks up the round. Neo rolling back. Gives MSL the chance. And door open inwardly. Snacks is going to sneak behind. Don't you dare. With a pistol, I think he's just going to sit tight. Maybe, hope, best case scenario, they come in toward A. 54 seconds. It's not like he's got a last second denial opportunity. Oh he's gosh. letting them. He the wants knife. to let them here. He wants the knife too. Bonus money, 1500 for snacks. <laughs> he's always clever. He's always thinking. He'll grab a UMP off the of thing is though, It can really work very well for like one round. I mean, as you said, they picked it up so they can discard one at the end of the round if they win the rounds. If, if you know, VP figure, figure out what's going on. So there's a trade there. Do they expect Pronax by Sandbags? Or do they think they've got a lot of space here? Or do they expect Twist? Ooh. Oh, almost gets himself a double. Did he get a collateral? The tag there? Yeah, he tagged Snacks on the leg, I think. Oh, man. Almost getting the kill there. Double faced, and Snacks will use that to at least get the bomb down. But he could take an angle towards the connected position as well. There's a smoke down there. 30 seconds on the clock, and perhaps he'll try to oh, catch a CT repositioning. This is smart. I think he's trying to fake, actually. Just by this massive delay. That noise entirely. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Dirty. <laughs> what on earth is that? That's crazy to get that angle. That was it, like, I don't know what Lek was trying to accomplish in that angle though. There's still a game to play here and Snacks. There goes Pronax. Somehow he's made it a one versus one. He has an advantage in that Doppler is forced to continue to push, scoping, and he thinks he's in main. Snacks looking for the no-scope. And there it is! Doppler had no idea where he was. Convinced he was in. Maybe he got bad information from a teammate, but the one versus three is there. It's just the ace, man. That's the actual ace. That what is. a big point. BP do manage to salvage an orb, but Bash is now gone down. That pretty much puts the red light glaring in the face of Snacks. Just to save the orb. NIP will claim a sixth round. The question is, are oh, VP gonna keep the orb? Two shots missed from Snacks. How is he still alive? Oh my oh, goodness! What? Why and not? he lands a second shot as well. What is happening? Snacks, oh. you cannot keep this orb. It's not allowed. Pits what? coming around from behind. What the hell is going on? Snacks with the great escape keeps the orb alive. He manages to let Convict there. Tensky takes him down. Just Neo in the two on one. 
10 seconds to play for. If he can just hold them off and deny the bomb here, this would be absolutely huge. Just get Brody. Can he do it? Oh. He takes down the bomb. Five seconds remain. Just going to be Giabi and Neo. Two seconds. One second. He does it. Neo manages to hold on. What a play by the master himself. And Hash has taken a bit of damage early on, but this should be Norse chance to just equalize the score. Oh, he's hiding right at the edge of the smoke. Config doesn't know it. Snacks trying to sneak up behind him. Config not really aware of what's going on yet. This could be a lost AK very quick, and the timing here is favoring Snacks. And is he really going to go for the knife? Oh my god! He takes down Config with a knife in the corner. He'll be completely open from the CTs now. Chris J was pushing straight through. He's only got the scout on the 5.7 to work with. Probably want to be upgrading to an AK-47. And this kill is going to mean everything if Pasha can find Chris J for the smoke here. Bomb has been planted. And Pasha just biding his time, waiting like a coil fight for two frags for him. And a third as well. Beautiful spray control from the VP veteran. Let's go and just save what they have. Because they actually have some money on this team. But Neil giving up a rifle. I have no idea why. There was obviously no way they were going to retake that 2v5. And I don't know how... Anyone, I don't know why Pasha thought it was a good idea. They had no control over jungle anymore. Connector was completely lost by that point. Sure, Neo was still up and Taz was still up, but they had n zero vision, zero angles held. So he just goes up on the ticket booth and there you have it. You got what, two or three players coming through. And wait, what is this? No, no. way, Snacks. No, They're so snacks. far away. Are you serious right now? Play of Face. Century. Oh, oh my god. Who is Snacks? Cały czas patrzy, czy ktoś się podchodzi, czy jeszcze nie. Zostawia sobie taką malutką szparkę, no i już będzie wiedział, że atakowany jest ten bombset, także będą kłopoty. No i coś ciekawego, tutaj Snacks, ależ to wymyślił! Czegoś takiego jeszcze nie widziałem, Snacks, to było coś niesamowitego, jak to wykombinował Snacks. Nigdy w życiu czegoś takiego nie widziałem, Apex szokowany po prostu, upokorzony. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, oh. you actually what? <laughs> Up there. Yeah, uh, they are down. Good job. And there it is, Snacks doing Snacks things. He's just gonna play the patient game like a ninja, just taking it slow, getting all the information, lining them up with the deagle. Oh, it's gonna be huge. And there he goes with the deagle, but only a single frag from Snacks. But still, his team will know what's going on. They'll have some warning, at least to the push that's about to hit the B bomb side of overpass here. I normally hate this position, but this time it's absolutely perfect. As you said, two players already showing presence there. Adren's not even going to check it. This is fantastic from Neo. What an exciting moment. He knows he's got the bomb as well, waiting for any teaser to join him. This is the time he has to kill him now. Yeah, there it is. Gets the bomb down. That's incredibly smart play there. And now we have a three on two situation. Taz just waits inside the site, sets up on Fugly and fixes back. He takes down Hiko as well. It all fell apart so quickly for Liquid. They're divided. Are his biceps big enough to push the plow? Because it's stalled and they need to get to a gas station. They desperately need a round. Back through vent, potentially. Doesn't want to chance it. Movement gets slowed. Has the sight to work with. Lucas, oh, just barely goes under the crosshair. Walks in when he looks away. What a shot! What a shot from Pasha. Six HP. Plants as open as he possibly dare in the sight. And how does he choose to approach it? Stay on the AK? Because an AWP was down. It's gonna be a one-shot wonder. He's gone towards CT. Fans will urge him over, and he's gonna be audacious. He's gonna go all the way back through vents. Haney just came from there. This was a one versus four. The play of Pasha's life. It's planted so open. Haney's gonna have no idea. Smoke goes on to it. He's not peeking it yet. Pasha needs patience. Haney spotted. He knows he's not on it. Gets him in the open! I ain't seen him in pit, but I haven't checked it just yet. He's still going to go ahead and thinks he's cleared things out. Looks right at him. Snacks. Not Snacks. Neo takes himself too. One versus one now. Has himself an AK. This is a round that never should have come this close. And Neo. Oh. It uh, starts to pick up through short, and Neo finds the frag, wins it out in the 1v1, and seemingly from nowhere. Nie spodziewa się drugiej Eko Rywala. Za moment Polacy mogą wejść na 
samego Jerego. Jeżeli poleci dobry flash od Tao, to jest nawet szansa na wygranie rundy. Przypominam, Bombside B jest bardzo trudny do odbijania. Ależ decyzja Force. Fatalna w tym momencie. Świetny flash. Jerry wstrząsowany. Ależ oberwał. Fleet dopiero teraz rotuje. Natana Schmidta w sytuacji 1 na trzech Cóż za spray w wykonaniu nbk -a. I proszę, on wyeliminował tych najmocniej doposażonych Michu miał tutaj chociażby kałacha Teraz zostaje snak z 26 HP Mag 10, brak granatów I jest na małych drzwiach Ciężko będzie mu tam jakoś się bronić NBK ma 91 HP Ma Defuse Kita, ma Kevlar z hełmem I już trzy fragi Nie spodziewa się, zdaje się, snak na krótkich No teraz już wie A tu Snax sprytnie się zabawił z rywalem, no proszę. Snax wciąż to czuje, no i zobaczmy jak ładnie Snax tego klacza ugrał. Oczywiście Frax zdobyty przez NBK, ale runda wpada na konto Virtus Pro. No sprytnie Snax, sprytnie Snax to zrobił, nie dał tej rundy. Że... Now he's gonna go for the bomb plant in the B-bomb site. Taco realizing too late, the bomb is gonna go down with four seconds left. Putting out the grenade and Taco running into it, taking a bit of damage and Snacks falling into a very good position. He could count Taco almost any second. Goes for the peak and he wins the one versus two. Such a huge clutch. That first shot from Snacks is out of this world. <laughs> That's so unreal and he bails them out of a tough spot. They, they had such a good round going from the, the power, the aggression, but they need a pause button at times. Too many individual fights coming from that, but Snacks. I say that and suddenly they both strike immediately getting away with it 15 and 9 HP but they find a kill apiece and it is Neo left in a very winnable one versus two but an awkward one because they've had the amount of time in the post plane to get position Excurit has the information that's even more important that incendiary oh, he's sitting he, he gonna spread? they can't do anything they can't neither of them can peek that's brilliant Neo's actually one up them they couldn't do anything about it because of the HP and he gets away with that